This is going to be a video response to Howard, Arizona Wacko, on his video about bikers he respects. I'm not going to make it a direct plot reply so much as take it off on a sideline. He'd featured three vloggers that he really likes, Rhino Ride, Lori Jennifer, and Navy Thomas A. Two of them I know very well myself, and then Rhino Ride I kind of know as an acquaintance in the moto vlogging community. But one thing I like about bikers that do cutting edge stuff, such as ride in the winter, in all conditions, even on snow, ice, whatever, not that I would necessarily do that, but it shows me that things like that are absolutely possible. Before the polar bear challenge even started, I actually didn't believe as far north as I lived that you could be a year-round year rider. But now I realize that would not really take a heck of a lot of effort if you have the right equipment and the right know-how and practice at doing it. Um, sure, maybe I would not ride on those days where it was an all-out blizzard, and I may even choose to wait until the streets are clear to ride, but I could actually make my motorcycle a functional vehicle for doing necessary trips, going to the grocery store, whatever. Sure, maybe I'd have to make a few extra trips to get enough supplies for several weeks, but if you're going to ride in the winter anyway, why the heck not? It's an excuse to go somewhere to ride. And uh, I know a lot of people took his video wrong. They thought it was like he was saying that anybody that wasn't equivalent to those three was not a real biker, but it, I didn't get that from it, I know. But that's okay in a way. I mean, that's why you have comments and uh, descriptions and stuff like that. And if it starts a discussion, even if it's based on a misunderstanding, you get a chance to have a back and forth and explain things. So. I don't think even in the case where my vlogs sometimes are misunderstood is that necessarily turn out to be a bad thing if it generates some kind of discussion. And I'm not saying anybody that decides to put their bike away for the winter and not ride because they don't feel they want to do it for whatever reason is not uh, every bit as much a biker as I am. It's just uh, I always want to constantly be learning something. That's more for me on the Polar Bear Challenge. What I want to do is every year whether I make uh, a huge amount of rides or don't make as many rides as I expected, I always want to come away learning at least something else about cold weather riding that's going to help me out, help me be a better cold weather rider. As long as I can do that, then uh, I've accomplished something at the Polar Bear Challenge. So anyway, that's my reply to Arizona Wacko, and if you get a chance, check out his video. I will have the link to it down in the descriptions. And uh, check it out, and be sure and comment on his video and my video if you have a chance.